Can we have more Testament gameplay? Oh my goodness. Are we double? It never hey, ends. At this point, it's probably going to be a loop around, right? We got to have the same Testament. How many Testaments are in this bracket? Oh, uh, soul bad guy. Ooh, we, why, why are we thinking about it? I'm curious who's playing right now. What, what, what are we doing? Why are we, why what, are we what, What's going on here? Uh, maybe they're talking to production or TOs or something. They're, fi they're figuring this out. They're figuring this out. Yeah, something's oh, it's probably something with the controller. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Trying to get the the audio, maybe. Yeah, because we have some in-house audio. We've had a couple of issues with it that we're trying to figure out, but okay. I think they're trying to get the audio to go back to the speakers because they have it plugged in directly to the speakers. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just heard it. So that's what's going on. When you plug in all these different fight sticks, sometimes it like auto adjusts and it tries to do the output of the yeah, audio yeah. to the fight stick. Yeah, yeah. So you have to fix some things. Uh, so I, I mostly see it on the DualShock 4 and the DualSense because yeah. they actually have audio output. It happens on PC too. It happens on my combo Obsidian. Re do you have an audio output? No. <laughs> it happens on Steam Deck. It happens on my PC. It happens on PlayStations. It's very weird. That is really weird. It shouldn't have any audio output to route to if there quite literally is no like audio driver functionality. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. On a stick? Like That's very strange. <laughs> that is odd. That is alright though. Hope you guys have all been enjoying Beak Bunk 2024 here. We got guilty as try. I'm combo. Join you with Lentini. You guys should stay hydrated. Grab a snack. Stay oh, strapped yeah, yes. in. Cause we are barreling all the way to top eight. We got no breaks here. Mm -hmm. This 40-man bracket is going to resolve to one champion. Look, there can only be one. We've got some overlap with some of the other games, which is cool to see. Because historically, you know, Beak Bonk, known for the Smash. That's like the biggest draw of this event. Uh -huh. But we've got so many FTC games coming out here. We already saw the Grand Blue. We've got the Stripe bracket going on. we There's got Tekken. 64 entrants for Tekken. Tekken, yes, like, six, it's crazy. Are here for Tekken, man. We got Street Fighter as well. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be up next, next on the stream, right? Yeah, that'll be fun. And then we have Tekken after that. So, y'all, you're in for some fantastic gameplay all throughout the day. And if you want to watch some Smash while you're at it as well, we've got the uh, Satellite Smash, uh -huh. uh, Satellite Melee, I believe. Those are the two other, if you want to watch either of those throughout the day, we've got those going for us. But right now, we do have Cheshulith coming back with the Testament against the Firkin Soul Bad Guy. All right. Dual one. Let's see. Let's get started. Cheshulip has right back in. Oh, yeah, let me just make sure my 6P works. Yeah, it's the button check. Right. Either that or it's the worst neutral of all time. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you guys are geniuses. Now, that's got to be pretty difficult for commentators to figure out if it's like a, a newbie tournament. Uh, and you're trying to figure out, is it a button check or these guys just have no idea what's happening? Yeah, are they just starting so off? Are they just you know, they're figuring the out what their buttons there. do? That is really Because like, we've all been there. You pull up the new fighting game. What do you do? You don't Google, what do my buttons do? You just start pressing things. Yeah, and you, you see press what happens. buttons. And then maybe you figure it out at, on the fly after. You know what that game is so good for that is Marvel versus Capcom. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You like just start pressing things. You do 50 hit combos, and you feel like a genius. Yeah, light, medium, heavy launch, or light, medium, heavy like finisher. You're like, man, it's like, I'm brilliant. I'm actually the best gamer of all time. Very true. Very true. But yeah, this is also another top eight qualifier. We're gonna win a seven in a second. Oh, we got Perkins on the soul bag. We got Cheshulip making Ooh. return to stream. Oh, we got our Night Raid Vortex counter hit too. Yeah, that's something you're gonna have to watch out for throughout this entire set. Can Cheshulip keep from being predictable with the zoning oh. or is Perkins? Got a double dip on that same option. Do we have the the suit perfect here? We might. Oh, okay. oh no, no, we're good. On the low, Cheshulip makes no signs of life. Got the mental damage. Now it's up to the test of the game, but it's expected. And you know what oh, Perkins is looking for. Oh, the teleport gets stuffed out, though. Okay, Perkins, I see two. Nice and quick. Yeah, Cheshulip just jumping back, using that Akuma fireball, retreating away, trying to create space. And oh. look how much it worked out. Yeah, wow, well, the soft and the wall break here. We got Oki. Oh, that spacing. Oh, amazing spacing there. All right, catching, catching strays while trying to run in. It's hard, hard to find your way in. Air dash in with an FD. I see it. Okay. I was about to talk about the caution of Perkins jumping in with the aerial FD. Oh. But Jeshulith swinging Super out. Good out of morning. Map. Yeah. Perkins is going to drop around here. First game's already super tight. 
Gunflip. Okay, far slash for counter and immediate burst. Yeah, just get me out of here. They again. do not want to hold all that damage. He teleports. I think Perkins recognizes, oh, Cheshwo is in the corner. I should be reacting to teleport. Yeah. Because you know that that is like the number one thing on Cheshwo's mind. I need to get out of this corner. But the six Ps, that's another thing to keep in mind. We're playing a oh. game here where you just don't want to jump in against either of these guys. Yeah, and the Night Raid Vortex from full screen have been doing wonders for Fire to find your way back in. Great block oh. on that YRC as well. Oh my goodness. First hit of the approach to kick special. Loops is just so much more damage. All right, air dash in, FD. There's a wild assault in response here from Cheshire. He's gonna fall out. Yeah, Perkins still giving that respect, like you mentioned. The air dash in, FD. So cautious against the zoning, because you can only react to oh. so much. And you can yeah. see what happens if you don't react. Speaking of which, it's the teleport. Okay, burst out. That was so alive. Night Raid Vortex can block. Oh, it up. oh, oh cross yourself Oh up. my goodness, the dust going the wrong way. Oh, no. And Cheshulet on the board. Yeah. That was the first. Harkin seemed really strong that first round, but Cheshulet quickly turned it right back around. Yeah, just dashing under those projectiles. Such a threat. Yep. But Cheshulet adapted Ooh, really well, became more unpredictable, getting Perkins to actually commit to more of those aerial approaches, which just are not working out against the 6 feet. Ooh, okay. Fine, Even that somehow lost the interaction. Yeah, nice. spaced out. And Testament touch. Testament likes that spacing. Yep, yep. Gun flame in. Okay, 2S. There we go. Heavy slash. Nice. Volcanic Viper here. Oh, oh I thought that was going to break the wall. Fafnir oh. trying so hard. Great grab from Cheshulith. Finds the little hole. PRC going high. Now going for the YRC. Gets blocked by the FD, but it gives Perkins an opportunity to get out. And now the burst as well. So many resources getting used for this one string. Yeah, this close slash is getting backdash as well. Trying to, okay, catch a master with the Volcanic Viper when you're even. Finally gets another close slash counter hit into that far slash heavy slash to take that next round. That was a blitz speed, damage after damage, interaction after interaction. Oh my goodness. Both these players are really getting up into each other's face and press buttons. The maximum resource usage in that round. Cheshul has got that slight advantage right now, uses the wild assault because of it. The burst not going to be online for a while. All right, yeah, hold this wall break. And hold this open as well. All right, we're going from up above. Yeah. I no reason for Cheshulet to go too crazy, and this is why trying to avoid that situation. Maybe got impatient. Red RC taking half of your health like it's nothing. Okay, make that more like three quarters. Yeah, oh my goodness! And that started with a jump peak. Crazy. That entire combo starts with jumpy. Like that's the amount of conversion that we get here when you're playing so much. Oh, that. oh no! Utilizing the plus frames from YRC, Cheshulet was so aware that, yeah, of course they're gonna press on like Yeah, of course. And super right back out. You know what they say about being minus. <laughs> Cheshulet has no chill. And that's such a risky play as well. Like you say, of course, they're gonna mash off of the YRC. But what if they didn't? You lose. Yep, that's right. You get absolutely And that, that was a crazy thing to gambit everything on. In the future now, Perkins will probably be more aware of the possibility. Or maybe won't even pull out that YRC, which is a whole other thing. That's an entire tool off the board. That's right. We are getting a super wall break here, though. How Man. is Perkins going to approach it? I want to see the uh, the success. So we get air dash in. Instead, great back dash on the far side, though. Oh, oh charge that in the air. Oh! Face the first. And Perkins is on the board. We saw Cheshulith so scared of that up close gameplay that they ended up walking themselves into the corner. That's the problem with zoners. If you walk yourself into the corner too long, if they can force that pressure that exude that onto you, oh. like Perkins is doing, you can just get yourself locked up. You have to make risky calls like that burst, and then it's a 50-50 for game. That's right, that's right. All right, starting off with that sweep. Okay, Air Dash is going to get six speed. We're going to see an immediate burst, though, just to keep the center stage on it. So this isn't even about necessarily, oh, I'm going to take a bunch of damage from six feet. It's I'm going to get knocked back, and I need to stay where I am. But I will use burst here just for stage. In the end, we ended up in a pretty neutral scenario. Of course, now Cheshulet is pushing on that pressure. But both of them used that early burst, and we still ended up center stage with nothing but a, a slight little cross-up of characters. Yeah, but now it's big on Cheshulet's favor here, getting a super for the wall break. You can see that, that kind of mid-range low again. Oh, no, Bice was low. 
the Good morning. of the Shadow Realm. Uh, the last time, Cheshwitz did go high with that, so it makes sense that Perkins would have prepped oh. for the high. But we dash it in. We don't care. Night Raid Vortex, baby. At least 130 or health. You got to hold this chip damage from Fafnir. Oh, my goodness. Great jump timing from Perkins. Able to get out, or excuse me, from Cheshwitz. Perkins, however, does have the burst, and both of them have enough tension to use at least one super here. Oh, trying to find your way in. There's a red RC Volcanic Viper. And still gets the pickup off the 5K into Wild Assault. Oh my goodness. Look at this damage. And a wall break VRC drip forward. Oh yeah, Jumped get me out here. Up with the SD. And the Wild Assault is wasted on Cheshulet oh as goodness. Perkins takes the snatch round. Three. Oh my goodness. Oh. One round to one here on game number three. We are playing five games. It is Guilty Gear Strive. You know these games go fast. You know they're explosive. So I love to see that we're playing best of five. Either way, though, you do not want to go down in the set. Cheshulith has an opportunity here, but the same can be said for Ferkins, who manages to swing out of that scary situation. We have a red RC after an unsafe special here. Use the first tick. Now we got some heavy slash. Oh. Okay, Volcanic Viper to bash. Great back dash yeah. here. Hold oh these plus goodness. frames. You gotta hold those plus frames. And you didn't acts. hold them for long enough. Oh, and no. now, Cheshul, if you're gonna get blown up, that's going to be the game. Wow. Wow. That's the scary thing. You can crumble <laughs> under soul so easily. You really so, can. So, so easily, right? Whether it's the far slash pressure, pressure whether he's jumping up and mashing plus frames on your face with Fafnir and the aerial special, it's like, wow. When do you press? Oh. I need mean, invisible versus Night Raid Vortex. And that's that burst gone. Oh. And now you're stuck in the corner. He knows you don't have that burst. And like you said earlier, using that burst for stage control, the dash out from Cheshwood right. is going to work out. But we are turning things back and forth all over the place. Who can get that big wall combo first? Yeah, now we got some far slash pressure yet again. Far slash pressure, say that five times real fast. <laughs> but uh, getting pushed away after a burst. Okay. All right, we got to pick up here from Cheshire, finally. It's been a bit since we've seen a strong Cheshire advantage state. Yeah, we got an opportunity right here. Is that enough? No, I don't think uh, not quite. No, you are way too scaled. Yeah. However, yeah, on a tick of health here. Oh. But that's all Firkins needs. Oh my goodness. Chill. It's a volcanic viper. There's the 6S. Oh. And a wild assault for wake up. What's this final mix going to be? Air dash high. in. Okay, going high. I like that FD from Cheshulet. Doesn't want to have to deal with the high low mix. Going to use a little bit of the tension meter for it. However, that does mean you don't have oh. any RCs online. And that final night raid vortex. With that face. Oh. Cheshulet's like, yep. Yeah. Yep, he does need it. He does need that. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. that's all it oh, takes. Good. It's the bait after it actually with FD. Use that kind of aerial FD break just a little bit. And then going for a volcanic viper right after. It's it's pretty. It is crazy how much damage Perkins is able to consistently get. Like, we all understand, yes, Soul Bad Guy does damage, but the way Perkins is able to actually find it consistently with all of these wall combos and make it a real threat against a player of Cheshulet's cal caliber yep. is so impressive. Yes, it is. We're getting another wall break here. We are really close. The 6H! And we're going to get first out here. All right, he's charging that PRC Drift board into the Volcanic Viper! And Ferkins takes it 3-1 over Cheshulet. That DP oh, was man. crazy. That is the soul brain sub coming out. That is I'm in your face. I'm me. not holding this mix at all. Sure you Oh did. my goodness. The PRC into PRC true combo. That's crazy. Yeah. The scramble into Volcanic Viper true combo. So bad guy. <laughs> that is beautiful. I salute you, Ferkins. Yeah, That's you're a Ken main out here.